This part is the handle pin for my do-nothing machine. I can see that it's round and it has two diameter sizes. It has an upper portion that is 14 millimeters in diameter and is 25 millimeters long. At the bottom there is a smaller diameter section of 8 millimeters that is 6 millimeters long. It has a 2 millimeter chamfer around the top edge. We're going to use our extrude tool to create this part. I'm going to start by having my do nothing machine on shape document open. I'll go down to the plus in the lower left corner and choose to create a new part studio. I'm going to start a new sketch on the top sketch plane and we're going to draw the lower part of our pin. So I'll use a center point circle, make that coincident to the origin. This is going to have a diameter of 8 and I'll accept that. View isometric and we'll use our extrude to extrude this up. It will be a blind extrusion for a total of 6 millimeters and we'll accept that. So that's the smaller bottom portion of my pin. Now to make the upper portion we'll start a sketch again and we'll use the upper part of that cylinder as our sketch plane. We'll view normal. I'll use my center point circle again. This circle we know has a diameter of 14 for this upper portion and we'll accept that. I'm going to again extrude I'm going to choose both parts of that so that it's solid. It will be blind, it will be 25 millimeters, and it's going to be add to my part so it all is added together. So that creates the pin. The last step would be to add the two millimeter chamfer on the edge. So I'll use my chamfer feature. It's 45 degrees, so that means it's equal distance from the choices of the types of chamfers that I can enter. And this is a two millimeter chamfer and it will go around this upper edge. And I can see it created there, so I will accept it. And there is my handle pin. I'll now go down to the Part Studio tab at the bottom for this part and I'm going to rename this as the the handle pin.